Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video I will show you how I made these slides in PowerPoint using the Morph transition. And please don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more PowerPoint tutorials every single week. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll just copy a PNG of the sun. I found this image on Google and I'm just going to copy and paste it into a black slide. And then I'm going to insert a circle and you have to hold shift to make a perfect circle. And I'm going to align it to center and to middle. This will be our orbit, our first orbit. So we're going to get rid of the fill and we're going to add an outline. And I'm going to insert an image of Mercury, which will be our first planet. And if your image has a white background, what you can do is go to picture format click on color, set transparent color, and then just select the white background. And I'm just going to put it here on the orbit. And now I will explain a concept of animation very quickly. So basically, if you add the spin effect to this element, it's going to spin around its own center. And what we want to achieve is to make it actually rotate around the sun. So in order to do that, we need to duplicate the image and put it on the opposite side. That way, when you group them with Ctrl G and apply the spinning animation, it will start rotating around the sun. And to get rid of the duplicate, you just have to go to Format Picture and apply Transparency to 100. And that way it will stay there, but it will remain hidden. Then I'm going to create a copy of the orbit. So you select the orbit, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then align it to center and to middle. And holding Shift on your keyboard, you can make it larger. And again, I'm going to insert an image of the planet, which in this case is Venus. And another method to get rid of the white background is you go to crop, crop to shape and select the circle here. Then click on crop again and just make the image a little bit larger. And that's just another way to get rid of the background. And I just repeated the process with making the duplicates and then I added a third orbit. Uh, where in this case I'm going to put the Earth. Again, create the duplicate, make it transparent and group it. Now you're going to select the three groups and then go to Animations and click on Spin. And it's going to look a little wild at the moment, but we're going to fix that in a second. So you just have to go to Animation Pane, right click Effect Options. And here we're going to change instead of 360, we're going to change to 20 degrees and just smooth the end to two seconds and click OK. And then we're going to select Venus, which in this case is this group right here. So right click effect options. And here we're going to change from clockwise to counterclockwise. And then to make it a little bit more dynamic, I'm just going to rotate these planets here just a little bit um, so they don't sit on the same kind of like horizontal line. So now it's looking a little bit more dynamic. To add the glowing effect to the planet, you just have to select the planet, go to format picture, click on glow and here you can select a preset. So then you can just increase the size and change the transparency. And once you're happy with how your glows are looking, you just have to zoom out, select everything and make it larger holding shift in your keyboard. And then you can just move it so the sun sits on the left bottom corner. And then I'm going to fade the orbits a little bit because I think that the white is very, is very bright. So I'm just going to change it to, uh, to a light gray. And then I just added my text and right click send to back and I changed the color to gray. Then I added a galaxy background. So right click copy and then right click format background. And here you can select a picture or texture fill and then click on picture corrections and decrease the brightness. And for the animation of the sun, first I go to animations click on grow and shrink, then go to add animation and select spin. From the animation pane, you can right click and start with previous. So the animation starts automatically. 
And then if you right click and go to the effect options here for the grow and shrink effect, I'm going to change it to 105 because I want it to be very subtle. And for the spin animation, instead of having 360 degrees, I'm going to change it to 10. So now when I click play all, I just get like this very subtle effect, which is super, super cool. So then you duplicate the slide with control D and for the morph transition to work, we need to get rid of the animations here. So select the animations from the animation pane, right click and remove. And then I'm going to push up the word planets and then I'm going to select the orbits here and I'm going to make them transparent from the format object panel. So here you click online and then change the transparency to 100. And then we're going to move the sun to the left, to the gray area of the slide. And then we're going to position the planets here in a row. And then I'm going to insert a rounded rectangle here. Remember with the yellow dot here, you can change the roundness of the corners and then click on solid line, select the white line and on fill, select a white fill and just change the transparency a little bit so we can see through the shape. And then you can duplicate it a couple of times with holding control on your keyboard and dragging your mouse. You can distribute them horizontally with the aligned panel. And then you just select the planets, right click and bring to front. And then I just added some text. I added the, the name of the planet, a little description maybe, and overall something just like very basic. And while I'm doing this, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Lurutia PPT. And then we're going to select these new shapes that we did. So that means the texts and the shapes, and we're going to copy paste them on the first slide and drag them down to the gray area, right click, send to back. So now if we apply the morph transition, we're going to get a very cool effect. And now we're going to duplicate that slide with control D and we're going to delete the sun and then we're going to select Venus and Earth because we're going to focus on Mercury. So we select everything related to those planets and we're going to drag them out of the composition to the right. And now I'm going to make this container a little bit larger because that's where our information about this planet is going to, is going to go. And then I'll move the title here and the description out of the composition and then select your planet and make it bigger holding shift in your keyboard. And then I'll insert a table. So this one will be two by three. And I'm going to get rid of the borders and I'm going to get rid of the shading as well. So I go here, select no borders and then no fill for the shading. Now change the pen color here to white and select the inner border. So that's the horizontal borders, the top border and the bottom border. Then select the table, go to animations and click on fade. And from the animation pane, right click start with previous. And the last thing to do is to select these two slides, go to transitions and click on morph. And there you go, guys. That's how I made this presentation using the morph transition in PowerPoint. It's such a cool effect and it looks amazing. Remember that I have some premium templates available on lurutiappt.gumroad.com. They include instructions and layout so you can make a striking presentation. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video.